BigQuery provides partitioning and clustering for you to organize data through managed tables. I will show you how to create partitioned and clustered tables in this section. Then compare the difference between partitioning and clustering and answer the question when you should use the clustering at the end of this section. I will use the data from a BigQuery's public data stack overflows posts questions table. Now let's run the query against this table first to get the number of the questions posted each year. Let's check the query settings. The use cached result box is checked. So if you run the same query again, the query completion time is zero now because it is returned the cached results. We will uncheck this box before we run any queries against the new tables. Now let's use the data from this year 2020 to build a partitioned and cluster tables. We need to create a BigQuery dataset first before creating and loading table data into BigQuery. In the GCP console navigation panel, select your project name, click create a dataset, Give the dataset a name, my test. You can select your data location according to your country or region. Leave others as the default settings and click create a dataset button. The dataset is created. Now enter the creatable query by selecting data from posts questions table, click the run button. The query creates a new table questions 2020 in the my test dataset. Let's run the query to get a stack overflow questions created in the month of January 2020 from Android. It took 4.2 seconds to run the query. Let's uncheck the user cache result box before creating the other two tables. Now let's create the partitioned table from the same Stack Overflow public datasets post questions table. A partitioned table is a special table that is divided into segments called the partitions, which make it easier to manage and query your data. You usually divide the large table into the small partitions, such as on the data ingesting time, or timestamp, data column, or integer column. In our example, let's create the partition table with a partitioning on creation date. The table is ready. Let's run the same query to get a stack overflow questions created in the month of January 2020 from Android. It took only 6, 0.6 seconds to complete the query on partitioned table versus 4.2 seconds on non-partitioned table. This is because BigQuery scans only the required partitions, which process less data and run faster. Now let's do the same thing, create a new cluster table from the same dataset. When the table is clustered in the BigQuery, the table data is automatically organized based on the contents of one or more columns in the table schema. In our example, the new table uh, will be partitioned on the creation date and uh, clustered on the tax column based on our query access pattern. Now the table is ready. Let's run the same query to get the stack overflow questions created in the month of January 2020 from Android. You can see the processing time is the same as the partitioned table. So 
I'm gonna try to increase the query data from one month to three months, and then to five months to show you the, the processing time. So you can see the processing on the cluster table is faster than the partition table. With a partition and a cluster table, the query scanned less data than a partitioned table and also the long partitioned table. After you've done this test, make sure you delete my test dataset to avoid any extra charge. Let's summarize the difference between partitioning and clustering. With the partitioning, it is filled in the storage before query execution begins to reduce the costs. It reduces a full table scan to the partitions specified. You can use any column with a date or timestamp or ingesting time or integer range for the partitioning. Clustering is a storage optimization within the columnar segments to improve filtering and record co-location. Clustering performance and the cost savings can be assessed before the query begins. Prioritize clustering of up to four columns on more diverse types, but not on the listed columns. When should you use the clustering? You can use the clustering when your data is already partitioned on the date or timestamp or integer range column. You commonly use the filters or aggregation against particular columns in your queries. Thanks for watching and as always subscribe to my channel for more great cloud computing learning tips. See you next time.